If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man a fish, you feed him for a lifetime. We're on the longest bridge in West Africa. And I've been living fast life, but I see it is me. Oh no, and you see my life. So, Sprinter Man just broke down. Oh, Let's man, see. Now we on the see many people there outside where they feed man Zobo. Oh no. Hey, what happened, bro? Oh, our, our sprinter broke down. Okay, guys. Oh, sure. The sprinter van broke down. Part of the journey. Of the <laughs> you gotta do what it. What is a journey do. without setbacks? <laughs> yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Not everything's everything's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we. Now we. Now we get a refund for the sprinter. Refund sure. for the sprinter. <laughs> So you thought this was just going to be another one of those travel videos, get some really cool shots like that and some cool sound effects like this. Yeah, we mean business. We actually came to Nigeria because we run one of the largest educational platforms in the world, showing people about digital entrepreneurship. And I guess you can say if it works here, it's working. Rising rents, rising travel costs, rising gasoline. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Word on the street is a recession is coming. And when I say street, I mean from top financial analysts, journals, and media outlets. And not that we really believe the media, but that's not what this video is about. We're gonna have to save that for another video. So that means this isn't just another travel video with catchy music and really cool shots that I spent so much time on just for only a few people to actually appreciate it, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and let the good times roll. It feels like I'm missing something. And, and what's missing is the value that I've accumulated over the last four years and that I feel morally responsible to share with you. So I think it's really important for you watching this video right now to be aware of what I have believed to be, and I'm gonna give you evidence throughout this entire video to be the best industries to prepare for during the recession, the biggest recession that's coming to not just the USA, but the entire world. You see, my name is Jay Awal. I'm a serial entrepreneur, day trader, and network marketer that spent the last four years traveling the world, impacting lives, around the globe by showing people how it is that they can take advantage of the internet to prepare themselves and their families for the largest transfer of wealth in human history. And before getting into all that, I was your typical college student American. I was partying, I was ignoring my responsibilities, I was working multiple jobs and absolutely going nowhere with my life. It was just going around in circles. How many of you guys can relate? It wasn't until I was introduced to entrepreneurship by a regular at a restaurant that I was working at at the time that I hadn't even considered an online income or let alone making it my entire career. You know, that year I made the decision to dedicate all the time that I could and focus on learning skill sets for myself, but with the desire to share it with as many people along the journey to create real wealth and real change. And while you wouldn't believe what I found out, I found out that these two industries, especially combined, will create more success stories in the next 24 to 36 months than in the last two decades combined and this isn't speculation this is business trajectory here's what is a fact right now you have a blessing to be alive and well during the greatest time in the history of entrepreneurship and really time for anyone that wants to change themselves enough to change their circumstances and if that's you I believe this time to be of unlimited opportunity that allows you to really learn skill sets that you need to learn to become a professional in these industries that I'm gonna cover during this video. Now, how do I know? Because throughout the last four years, I've literally seen all types of people change their lives. From Lagos, Nigeria, which we're covering in this video a little bit, to Cordoba, Argentina, in South America, and in London, England, even right here in the United States. So it doesn't matter where they came from or the current conditions of their environment, their government, their economy, the number one thing that they had that you also have is the ability to learn and grow in these industries. So what are we gonna cover in this video is what I learned to be one of the most powerful principles of not just wealth building, but of life, and that is timing. And importantly, why right now, thanks to these three trends that are happening already, you have an unlimited window of opportunity to capitalize on the biggest shift in the history of entrepreneurship with learning about the financial markets, that's the first industry, and the second industry, probably one of the most underrated, misunderstood industries in modern culture, network marketing. You see, I call the trio of these three trends that I'm about to explain the new economy wealth cycle. Not the old economy, 
Not the one you learned about in school and is completely outdated, but the one we're living through right now. What I predict will happen in the near future is unlike anything the human race has ever lived through in recorded history. I mean, let's be real. In this era of rapid change and fear, it's especially important to be prepared now more than ever for a recession, an economic downturn, or whatever can lie ahead. And right now, I'm sure you would agree, it comes with a certain level of craziness in the world. I mean, like the most extreme scenarios. But as you soon will see, so is the silver lining. So is the opportunity that lies amongst the chaos. The reason is because these three massive trends are like a tsunami of destruction for those who aren't ready for them. But for those who can see it coming and position themselves in front of it, they'll be able to ride the waves of change safely through the mayhem and devastation that will surely come to those that aren't prepared. But not only to be able to survive the greatest economic events of our lifetime, but actually thrive. So the first of our three trends I want to cover is the opposite of the economy effect. That's what I like to call the opposite of economy effect. You see, I was doing some digging online about the data of different industries during times of economic recession and depression. I mean, it would only make sense after all that you would choose a career that not only stays in business through these times, but especially those that do even better during economic downturns. Yes, those actually exist. Those are out there. The only economic downturn that I can personally even recall was that of 2008 when the housing market took a nosedive and my own family was forced to foreclose on their home due to crazy rates, the devaluation of houses, time when $10.2 trillion of wealth literally was vaporized overnight and 40% of people's retirement funds were poof, gone. But interestingly enough, the industry of network marketing, those companies began to grow. As I dug deeper online, I decided to go ahead and find research and see and understand specifically how the network marketing industry performed in times of economic decline. And you're probably asking why? Why would you why would you want to do research on that, Jay? You see, the network marketing industry is probably one of the most, if not the most, underrated and misunderstood actual career choice industries, which happens to be an amazing vehicle to develop real business skills, communication skills, leadership skills, and more importantly, genuine fulfillment from the benefiting the lives of others and mastering your craft. However, most people don't know this and are closed minded to actually finding out about this industry because of bad examples in the past from either their friends, their family members that were trying to talk the family into whatever that company was selling, whether it was candles or lotions or soaps, etc., or an overpriced protein shake or hair shampoo. I mean, the list goes on. But since network marketing, just like the rest of the world is evolving, we started to see the emergence of service based companies that don't offer just a physical product, but actually offer a service like education, legal production, travel bookings, and more. And since college enrollment rates are steadily decreasing and the e-learning space is expected to grow to $1 trillion by 2028, which is currently at $400 billion today, it would only make sense to take advantage of the times and look for a leading momentum, service-based company with real ethics and great leadership, no hype, and real results that you can partner with and be shown how to cultivate an at-home business. All right, so let me get back to the research. I went back over 100 years of data and started discovering a fascinating trend. I found that in economic recession and decline, the network marketing industry experienced growth pretty much across the board. Here are a few examples of network marketing companies that thrive during recessions and economic downturns in the United States specifically. First is Wachter's. Wachter's was the very first network marketing supplement company ever created in 1932. That's right, just a few years before the Great Depression. And guess what? It actually grew throughout the Great Depression. Neutralite, another company, experienced exponential growth in 1945 in the recession that followed World War II. Amway, I'm sure you guys have heard of that one, right? The company that sells just about everything nowadays and owns the arena that the Orlando Magic play out of today got a good start building in the recession of 1958 and its growth has spiked through every recession since then. The recession of 1980, 2002, and the Great Recession of 2008. We all heard of Herbalife, and that grew from $2 million to $423 million during the recession of the 1980s. They hit a billion dollars in sales during the recession of the 1990s and hit an additional billion dollars in revenue during the 2002 recession has grown since then. The list goes on and on. There are so many more examples that make it clear as day that in every single economic downturn, the network marketing industry actually grew. 
In other words, network marketing has an inverse business cycle. So when the economy goes down, people begin to seek out alternative solutions to supplement their income. I call this inverse relationship between entrepreneurship and economics the opposite of the economy effects. And what that means is, People do the opposite of the economy. When the economy is healthy and growing, people are less interested in career alternatives. They don't want to make money from home. They want to come home and watch Netflix. They want to come home and spend the money because they're doing okay. Because there's an illusion of security that comes with that steady income source from that J-O-B. However, when a crisis hits, COVID, pandemic, whatever it is, recession, economic downturn, it becomes quickly obvious how little control the mass majority of people have over their financial well-being. They begin to realize that the stock market isn't the safe haven that they thought it was. They understand that the idea of job security is indeed a myth and the traditional or linear career path of our parents and grandparents is from an outdated era. So smart, savvy people like yourself who wanna take control of their financial destiny actively begin to seek out a plan B, which is why the industry experienced this opposite of the economy effect, which is really good news for you if you wanna learn how to ethically profit during this time and the time that lies ahead and be able to help other people do the exact same thing. As you guys already know, 2020 brought staggering economic destruction due to COVID-19. In a matter of weeks, the virus created extreme global hysteria and economic devastation across the world. Countless businesses were forced to shut down because they weren't able to operate. Tens of millions of jobs were lost over a couple months. And even before COVID-19, most Western governments have been racking up enormous amounts of debts. And today, that debt continues to grow at an exponential rate with more than 40% of all the money in circulation by the U.S. was printed in the last year alone. And yesterday, CPI news came out, a record-breaking high. Guys, financial analysts are ringing the bells, alarming of a crash that's coming. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but what I do have is education. And what I can tell you for sure is things are already starting to unravel at an alarming rate. The good news is that through these industries that I'm sharing with you here today, not only can you educate yourself, but you can position yourself to not just survive, but thrive during whatever the economy decides to send our way. You're also putting yourself in the position to be a benefit to others, attract people that need your help, and help them create the ultimate lifeboat business. So here's trend number two, a part of this trio called the new economy wealth cycle. Number two is the mass migration to digital. Once again, thanks to COVID-19, we saw a significant breakdown in basic social interactions. For most of 2020, family and friends stopped meeting up with each other in fear that one person might infect the other person, right? And it was like, don't come near me, don't cough near me. Weddings, graduations, funerals, birthday parties were all held virtually. And a simple handshake was seen as a biological act of terrorism. And just like 9-11, over two decades ago, Many effects of COVID-19 will never return to normal. You still can't bring drinks past security at the airport as a precaution against liquid bombs, and you still have to take your shoes off so they make sure you're not packing anything weird in there. This is a result of 9-11. You see, even when the crisis is over, the trend of spending more time at home for everybody since COVID-19 in the Western and developed world is here to stay. Let's just take a look at the very probable future, and then we'll talk about how this affects you as an entrepreneur or network marketer in this new new digital paradigm. Since COVID, the amount of people working from home grew tenfold. That's tens of millions of people. And once they got a taste of this at home, work from home lifestyle, the majority of people, they don't want to go back, which is why the demand for work from home opportunities has never been greater than it is right now. The taste of freedom has more people wanting to have that kind of location independence permanently, which is why now more than ever, people are actively seeking opportunities from home. They're actually looking right now. And guess who is set up to benefit most from these trends? <clears throat> <clears throat> right? A certain type of digital entrepreneur who knows how to get in front of these trends, to leverage the industries that will thrive during these times, and partner with the most authentic and genuine leaders in the game. 
Those people will be able to reap the rewards as they create their brand and begin to give value online, magnetically attracting those who they want to do business with as they make themselves findable in the online field. Which brings me to number three of the new economy wealth cycle. I call this the social media revolution. You see, one of the first things we learn as an entrepreneur is a concept called leverage. I mean, every entrepreneur guru talks about it. We learn about using other people's resources, money, time, energy. Uncle G calls it OPM, right? We were taught that it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. We were taught that when you have a system that is duplicating your efforts, this is the ultimate form of leverage, right? Well, guess what? That's exactly what these industries are. And here's what you need to know when it comes to how to succeed in 2022 and beyond. Leverage comes from systems, it comes from technology, and it comes from learning how to use them in the right way. And for those that are willing to embrace these trends and realize what we're teaching has withstood the test of time and is verifiable with thousands of case studies dating back the last decade, you have an amazing opportunity right now to embrace what I call the social media revolution. What this means is today, anyone can start their own TV show or radio station and you can reach hundreds of thousands of people with just a couple of clicks. And because of the worldwide access to internet, you can literally do this next week if you just had the right information or you knew what to share. It's clear that we're living in one of the most exciting eras of human history. During this social media revolution where anyone with no credentials or experience can post intelligently curated content and become an overnight sensation, give value to the world and make a real impact. This is the ultimate opportunity of free enterprise that has truly leveled the playing field for everyone across the world with access to information. You see, it doesn't matter if you're in Lagos, Nigeria, it doesn't matter if you're in Miami, it's these three trends combined that make the timing and opportunity in front of you right now a blessing that you may not have been aware of to make a difference in the world, sharing digital entrepreneurship and financial literacy. And just like the people here in the video in Lagos, Nigeria, no matter your conditions, you can create your own reality thanks to the internet and make the world a better place. And that's exactly what we're doing from city to city, person to person, because we can all make it. We just got to come together and grow. All right, so let me finish showing you our trip to Lagos, Nigeria. And if you watch until the end, you'll actually be able to see content of me driving through the streets of Lagos, Nigeria with a police escort as a digital entrepreneur. I mean, who would have freaking thought, right? Oh, TVX Nigeria, let's go. As you guys can see, they even have security at the hotel. You have to go through a metal detect to make sure you're good. My dude got the call of duty. They came for Pounded yam and a goosey soup with some bombs, some bombs and beef inside. Most people who win the lottery go broke. The best time to yourself first, and then you can go ahead and help others go. Unfamiliar with these. Shoes. You know these? No. No. He's gonna drive. He's gonna drive. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's die, bro. Talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them.